that I can't stand listening to, uh, and uh, <laughs> it's Reba McIntyre. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, you know, if I play fancy one more time... <laughs> Seconds of it. <laughs> no, I'm not playing 30 seconds of it. So that's that, and uh, <laughs> I mean, that's been on my Try and shoot left because I need antidepressants. <laughs> it's been 11 years to get off that, 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 that off my chest. My family is here, of course. Uh, my mom is here. Uh, my dad's called in a couple of times, and he's going to come in, and for our party a little later on. Um, and my kids, my six kids, when I started here, I was single, no children, and to leave here today and to see... Uh, the joys of my life behind me is um, really incredible. So, um, Peter is here as, as my last guest, and uh, I want to chat here with you. Um, I don't know where to start except to say that when I did get here when I was 19, 20 years old, I literally walked in here and I grew up in this building. And it's going to be very strange not to be here, uh, but mostly when people say, and, and have asked me all morning, what's your best memory? You know, there's been so many things we've done on the air over the years. You know, Blue Box Food Drive, where we would leave Clint Thomas on the side of the road and go have breakfast. And, um, you know, Santa Bucks and the concerts and the air shows where we almost got killed by parachutists. Um, and Stu Holloway. Um, Hilarious. And very funny. But the, 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 what I will miss the most is this. I will miss sitting um, in your office it has nothing to do with being on the air, but just talking about family and politics and religion and money and, um, you know, health issues and, um, you know, there, you've always, always uh, had my back. Um, you know, even when times when you didn't disagree with me, I wrote a blog about a year ago Oof, that got me into trouble, uh, but, and you actually didn't agree with me, but in public you always defended me. And so um, that has <clears throat> always meant the world to me. It's, a, it's, a clear, it's not only a good sign of, of a great boss, but of a, a great friend. And um, it will be hard for me not to come to work and to have you there. And you've never been in a, in a staff meeting on, uh, until you've been in one with Pete McEwen. <laughs> um, and uh, I'll miss those. I will miss uh, not having you there, and you taught me so much in life, first of all, with radio. You've been my greatest mentor in radio, but you have been um, a, a great example you, to the first thing you taught me. When you brought me into your office, when you became my boss, you said, it doesn't matter what happens on the air, the most important thing in your life is your family. And um, that is uh, something that I will take with me as I go and you know, manage uh, the people that I will manage at this point is just my wife. Um, but, um, but that's the biggest lesson you've taught me, and, and it has made me the man that I am uh, today. So I uh, thank you for that, and I uh, will miss not having that in my life. And that's it. Um, wow, man, that's very well said, Thank you. Thank you. rehearsed this last night, it was shorter, but uh, Mrs. Belanger, you must be very proud of your son. Yes, I am. Yes. Very. And Lana, you must be very proud of your husband. She's right there. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that's, not, that's my daughter. <laughs> oh, they look alike. Uh, you should be very proud of Dean and your family. Yeah, well, we want to thank y your family for uh, all those late nights and early mornings and extra efforts that we've uh, kept Dean away from you from all the family functions and birthdays and family events because Dean has been an integral part of uh, this radio station and of course most recently an integral part of the entire AM600 CKAT team and uh, Dean just like uh, you've learned things from me I've learned that uh, attitude is everything and the attitude that you'll carry when we shut this microphone off here in 30 seconds is an attitude that will uh, stay with you and your family and help you in the years to come in whatever it is you decide to do. Doors always open for you here, Dean. We uh, want you to go live your dreams, but we also want you to know there's a uh, feathered nest for you to come back to as well. And uh, I'm reminded of stories. We've been talking about stories all week long. Probably the one thing I've been known to at Dean at times, and because I'm Irish and, and have a temper. Um, sometimes I get, you know, a little explosive in the building, and uh, 
Probably the best story that Dean and I talk about is Remembrance Day at Memorial Gardens. <laughs> Do you want to tell the story? You want me to tell the story? Uh, you go ahead. Okay, so it's Remembrance Day at Memorial Gardens, and things aren't technically working, and I'm trying to operate the board, and you know they're ready to do the final uh, minutes of silence and to blow the trumpet, and uh, da 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 da. And then we're deans and going, and now the Royal Guard is coming in, and now uh, Bob Wood is taking his seat. So I'm not particularly paying attention. All of a sudden, I hear nothing. There's nothing on the air. And on radio, when there's nothing on the air, your transmitter will literally hum because it's looking for a signal. So I get on a PA system that goes all throughout Memorial Gardens. I go, Dean, I can't hear a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> and Dean uh, calmly gets back on the microphone and goes, um, it's the two minutes of silence. <laughs> you could see how we both learn from each other. <laughs> uh, we listen, we've got a great party planned for you a little later on today, and a uh, great video that the staff has done for you, which we're going to show at the Capitol Center, so we oh. want to invite your family uh, to come with us for that, and wish you nothing but the best, and uh, thanks uh, not only for everything you've done for me, for us as a station, but our, for our great community as well. We appreciate it. Thank you, Peter. Thank you very much. Um, so, um, here we go. I have picked one last song to play, and this song uh, probably best expresses uh, the way that I feel over the last several weeks and the way I feel uh, today. So you have to listen to the words. The title is not a good title. It's called A Bad Goodbye, and it's by Clint Black and Wynonna. But the lyrics of the song, when I came to you and said that I was, you know, might be leaving, I said to Peter, it was a very important to me that I leave here on a good note because I've seen radio people not have that happen uh, and after 21 years I wanted to leave here and and uh, and not have a bad goodbye so this is Clint Black and Winona Judd and you've been listening to Breakfast with Belanger on AM 600 CKAT